Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We're back on XCOM. We're going to be heading out today to the UFO landing site, uh, the abductor. I've actually recorded this episode before, but I had an audio issue, so uh, I kind of know what to expect. I know I left the last one off not knowing exactly what to expect, but I do know what to expect now. Um, it was just a slight minor audio issue that I had, so I got that fixed, so we're... Uh, we're good to go, I think. I recorded all the Lords of the Fallen videos, so I think we're, uh, they all had audio, so I think we're good to go now. I think I just need to update we're the mic. We're China for the next operation. We tracked the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside of a small town. We should move to secure the site and clear out any hostiles we can find. Alright, thank you, Central. Alright, so we need to gain entry to the UFO and neutralize all alien forces. And then we need to locate and secure Meld. Uh, I do need to start worrying about Meld a little bit more, but not too much. Uh, so let's head on out to this one. Hopefully I can do it with as good a precision as I did before. Uh, I did pretty good on the mission that uh, I don't have the audio for, uh, like my audio. Uh, so I did pretty good on that, so hopefully I can, I can keep that up. I actually like this map better than the one that I got. But uh, enough talk about Three that. Let's guys. just get this, this kicked off. Not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Okay, so it's over this way. So I'm gonna take this turn and just make some slight movements here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and then I'll have Siri go the correct way next turn. So we're just gonna play it safe-ish. I say ish because. I will get a little risky here with a couple of moves, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, like I said, we're gonna take this nice and slow. Um, and sometimes I can't hear Central talking, and so sometimes I talk over. I'm sorry, uh, because I don't know the audio for some reason is low for me through my A40s. All right, good. Nothing moved. All right, Siri, let's have you run over towards the meld. Just to see if we can uncover it. Uh, this is actually a good spot for you. Let's say we move here. Alien object in okay, we got three turns for that meld. We also did not find any enemies, so that's interesting. Alright, Triss. So let's have Yennefer move. Okay. Can always bring her right back if we do run into any resistance. So nothing yet. This is good. I actually like this. That's affirmative. Alright, we're going to throw people on cover just around because then I know affirmative. not to push anybody off any farther. Otherwise, we're going to set something off. That's it. Let's go ahead and just set that her there. And Gero, let's get you on the other side right here. I don't want to move them past Overwatch. her, but I don't want to, you know, do anything. Put them too in danger, but I think we're all good for now. Hopefully nothing what? moves into view. Do don't move into view. Good, nothing move into view of Siri, which is great, which is exactly what I wanted. So we can come over here and we can get this meld. I'm going to get on this side of the canister. Okay, so still nothing. Alright, Yennefer, let's have you move up here. Let's get Kira. I'm going to dash Kira up to right there. Shouldn't set anything off. Um, I'm going to get Triss to move up next to Yen. Well, actually, I'll move her a little bit farther. Kira, let's have you get up by Kira. And Zoltan. Let's have you just move to about right here. That's a good spot for him. Alright, let's just overwatch everybody else. These guys must be really pushed back within the ship, is all I can gather from this. So we'll collect that. Now I'm gonna dash Siri up to cover right here. Still no enemies? Wow, this is crazy, dude. I don't think I've ever experience no enemies this far pushed up so I'm just gonna dash everybody and get them in a position and we'll breach this door next turn I guess because you're just there's just no enemies this is kind of weird dude I never never had this happen before there Geralt let's have you go let's have you go there so I think that's good that'll work out well I'll go ahead. Oh, we do have enemies on the other side of this door, so that's good. We're gonna pop it. Oh, nope, they're moving out. Okay. Well, they're going stealth mode. 
Oh, what? What? What the heck? Well, I have no idea what just happened, but Geralt... Actually, yeah, let's have you get a kill. Alright, now let's have Triss take out the other one. This makes it so I can get a better position on the door with everybody else. Because we are breaching this door next turn, even though I don't think there's any enemies on the other side. I'm gonna have Siri go ahead and breach this door over here. Because I know she can get into cover right there. Stay invisible. Okay, she's got two enemies inside, it appears. Are they up top? Yeah, they're up top. Okay. So when I pop this door next turn, it should work out well, I think. Okay, um, not too bad movement. Let's have him pop. Let's pop the door because we're gonna be able to have vision now. We've got some mutons there. We got mutons up top. We just got mutons. It's mutons on mutons on mutons everywhere. It's literally just mutons everywhere. Okay, I might have to shoot with Siri. Actually, she can't see anything, so I don't want to shoot with Siri. Okay, well, Geralt, let's have you start the action off. Actually, Yennefer's got the worst vantage point. Yeah, she's only got sight on him. Siri does have sight on one. Um, I'm going to have her take it. Should be a kill. Should be a kill. Yes, good. Okay, one down. That was good. Um, even though it reveals Siri, I think it was worth it. Alright, um... Alright, Geralt, let's have you shoot at this first one. Okay, nice hit. Not bad. Not bad. Now I'm gonna have you throw a grenade, actually. I'm just gonna have you throw a frag. Kill this one for sure. And deal damage and take the second one out of cover. I think this is the best bet here. Okay, down. This is much harder than the other one that I played. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys that. that This is much harder. Alright, Kira. Hmm. That's not a good shot. Alright, so Zolden. Oh my gosh, you don't have 100% chance. I'm gonna have to take it anyway. There we go. Okay, good. Ooh, this is not. I do not like the current position we are in right now. Okay, no. Take him out. Please kill him. Please. Thank you. If that one had killed, we would have been in some serious trouble. Okay, Yen. Let's have you take him out. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now that I think about it, I probably should not have done that. Okay, we're gonna run and gun Triss. Uh, this is a highly dangerous move, but it should give me a flank shot, which should give me the kill. That's the hope. Okay, this should be a kill. There we go, money. Good job, Kira. So now we just have Triss. Who might be... I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, I think. My, uh, do I want to risk it for the biscuit, or do I want to play it safe? I really want to risk it for the biscuit. But no, I'm going to play it safe. Just play it safe. Take the damage. Don't risk someone getting flanked and then killed. Let's just go ahead and smoke. Make it a little bit harder for them to hit me. Play the smart. Okay, well, Kira's taking damage. No, he's running. Oh, what? I can't believe it, dude. We just got saved by this dude being an absolute moron. What is he doing? What, dude? I don't. I don't know the logic behind what I just witnessed. What the heck did I just witness? He literally just went full stupid. I don't know what he was doing. Unless he was just trying to get away to have, you know, uh, co like cover almost. Like he wanted to get away as far away as he could, but he took terrible movements. I don't really get what he was doing. Okay, so the issue now that I'm presented with is that this door has been open. And it actually looks like we're alright. Affirmative, Commander. Let's go ahead and move Zoltan up. 
All right, Zoltan, go ahead and reload. Weapon systems ready. Now, Geralt, I'm just gonna have you dash because your moment, your movement is so terrible that I don't even want to mess with that. So let's dash Triss up as well. I think we're all clear. I think it's probably just the uh, the outsider now. If that was my guess, I would assume we just have the outsider. But I could always be wrong, I guess. So let's move Siri up. Stash her to full cover there. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring Kira out here. This is really stupid and really dangerous. But I don't think there's any more enemies other than... The Outsider. Or Outsiders. Okay, maybe there isn't. Okay, we need to move. We need to move Yen. If there's guys outside, we need to get her out of there. We'll come back for them in a full sweep in a second. But for right now... I just gotta get people away from that back area. If there are guys back there, that's not good. We cannot be having guys with uh, free pop shots on a flank shot. Like, that cannot happen. Okay, so that'll be turn. So there are guys coming from the back, which is not good. So I'm gonna breach this immediately. Because I don't want to sit here and let them be able to come up behind us. So we've got two outsiders. I think Siri should be able to take them out. Okay, so nope, they ran to bad spots for Siri to be able to take them out. Can she? I don't even think she can take one out. So I think I'm just gonna have Zoltan. Eh, I'm gonna have Triss take out one. Let's have her take out the hundred percent. Okay, one down. I don't want Siri to take damage, so I'm gonna retreat her into this room. Aye, aye, Commander. So she has a shot. What's it looking like? 86. That's a kill. 86% is something I'm confident with that my snipers can hit. Okay, so Yennefer, you're gonna you're gonna get ready for the defense against incoming troops, enemy troops. Go ahead and Overwatch. Geralt, you can get up here and join Yen. I guess you can't technically get up there because you have horrible move movement. You have the suckiest movement, NA. Let's go ahead and move Zoltan there. Let's grab this meld with Kira. And I'm just gonna hold her here for now. Oh, we got a cyber disc. Jennifer's got a shot. She missed. That's bad. So cyber disc is gonna go into Overwatch. Alright. Ooh, those... Oh, they didn't move into a good spot. I thought they moved into a good spot for... Shot. Okay, let's go ahead and overwatch Siri. Let's get Triss. Um, I'm gonna throw her up on this cover here. Okay, Kira. Let's have you get to the cover here. I'm gonna let the cyber disc, I think, come to me. Geralt. Oh, Geralt, if you could only be in a better position. Um, I'm gonna try this nade. I'm gonna try it. I think it's worth a try. Nope, didn't hit. I thought it might, but it, it was worth the risk, I think. It was worth the attempt. Okay, I'm gonna throw Ghost Grenade onto Yennefer here. Hopefully the cyber disc forgets all about her. This goes invisible and Zoltan, there's not much for you to do, buddy. I'm just gonna have you could have you nade. I don't like, but that nade is not gonna help. I guess let's try it. Let's try another nade. No, there's not a good place to shoot this. Okay, just Overwatch. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, he's going backwards. You, you dirty cyber disc, dude. This dirty little cyber disc. Where is it going? Okay, we'll use my recon then. Come here, Siri. Be my recon. All right, so we've got. Oh, yes. So this should work now. I can just land nade. Fine, I'll come over here with Zoltan. 
Okay, now Zoltan, go ahead and shoot a grenade. Yes, there we go, so that's good. So we got its drones down, now it's just the cypher. It's exactly what I wanted. Geralt, let's have you get up on this. Overwatch, Yen, Overwatch. Kira and Triss just Overwatch from back here in case it comes from somewhere else that I'm not expecting. Because some glitchy things happen sometimes when the enemies get off screen, they'll like teleport to different spots. Nope, here it comes. We got two shots, Yen and Geralt. What are they going to do? They're going to hit. Okay, good job, Geralt. Ten damage. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. Where is it going? Oh god, it's getting a shot off. Oh no. Zoltan, head down, buddy. Ooh, nine damage. That's that's high damage. Siri, take him out. End this mission, I think. Hopefully this is it. Is that it? Is that it? Another one. Alright, good. Good work, Commander. Thanks, Central. Uh in my mission that I did um where the video corrupted, I actually didn't take any damage, so this was actually worse. I almost took no damage. If I if I would have put Zoltan in a better spot where that cyber disc wouldn't have had a shot, we would have been we would have been good. Because I think the cover was good. We were in all full cover, and I don't think the cyber disc would have grenaded because he didn't know Syria was there. So I think we would have been safe. But you know, you live and you learn. He's active still. Than that. Not a single casualty. Impressive work. Thank you, Doctor Shen. Uh, but. Yeah, there, we took damage, but he's perfectly fine. He didn't. He's not out for any amount of time, so that's good. Uh, we did recover some muton corpses, good Illyrium, and alien alloys. We really need weapon fragments, I think, but we got some stuff to sell. Let's go ahead and sell that stuff. Let's visit the Gray Market. And let's go ahead and sell alien surgery, stasis tanks. We can sell all that stuff. Let's get that stuff. So we got 160 bucks now. What do I want to do? Do I need a covert... Good covert op scan, but I think I want to wait until the end of the month. That's only in 10 days. Uh, let's see, what else can I get going here? Um, I think we're all, I think we're good on stuff right now. I don't think we need to worry about any of this. Yeah, it looks good to me. All right, so I don't think we need to do any of that. We have the max mech. We could put some people in a gene mod, but I think we're going to pass on that. Let's just scan. Ah, here we go. Our first uh, firestorm. Leveled the playing field. All right, so the first firestorms are up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and send those elsewhere so that we can um, go ahead and transfer them. Let's send them to Europe and Africa. Europe, Africa, there. So let's get let's get some more going. We've let's try to see if we can get here, two more of these. But I have to admit. My team and I are most proud of the work we put into the Firestorm. Okay, so we got those going. Gotta wait a day here. Ooh, we got an incoming council mission. Request from the council. Thanks to the All right. Americans, our engineering team has managed to negate billions of dollars in traditional aerospace development with a single ship. Alright, so we've received word that the aliens are attempting to intercept a cargo shipment being transported by trucks in India. It is uh, imperative that you prevent this material from falling into alien hands. Central will provide you with further information once your troops are on the ground. So we get $57 and 40 Illyrium. Let's go ahead and head out on this mission. This episode's probably going to end up being a little long, but we'll go ahead and head out on this mission. I think we're all set, I don't think. I need to change anything up, so let's go ahead and head on out. Strike one. 
Prepare for All right. begin assault. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Okay, so sweep the area of operations, eliminate all opposition. So this is just a seek and destroy mission. No meld, no no uh, civilians, nothing. It's just a sweep and kill. So I think I can handle this. This is how I play, just sweep and kill. Seek and destroy. I guess essentially search and destroy. A friend of the council relayed a tip that a truck transporting some unusual cargo may have been intercepted by a small band of x-rays. We don't know what the cargo is, but if they want it, then we need to seize it first. Eliminate all hostiles. Whoa, this is the first mission with just plain old sectoids in a group. And I don't remember how long, dude. This has been forever since we've just had some good old sectoids. So we're going to go groups here. Triss and Siri are going together on this side. I think this should be a safe move for Triss. Now, it's a risky move, but I think it's a safe one. Yep, it's a safe one. So Kira, have you come over here with Yennefer. You can take the other side of the truck. Geralt, you can dash up to here. Zoltan... You're the heavy firepower, you can hang out with Triss and Ciri. Because Ciri's invisible, so I think this kind of works out well. In my opinion, I think it works out well. I could be wrong, but I think this should work out pretty good. We'll go into these two, two man, or two, three man groups. And uh, just do kind of a nice little sweep of the area. So we got some okay. sectoids over here. I think it'll be another group of three. Good, 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 good. We're not seeing them. That's great. Alright, Kira, I'm going to have you get right here. It's kind of a separated group of three now. Now, grenade purposes. How about a rocket? Oh, I can rocket them. Let's rocket this. So there's at least two sectoids there. I don't know if there's more, if there's a third one. But I'm taking this rocket shot. There were three of them. All right, three down. Nice, sh nice rocket, Geralt. All right, Siri. Let's have you just take out two of them. I think this is worth it. Take these two shots with her, reveal her, but take two shots. And I think Trish should be able to clean it up. Oh, they're falling back. But I think, yeah, she's still got a shot. She's still got a good shot. She's got a combat rush. He's got double tap. All right, go ahead and reveal yourself. And I think this is going to be the harder hit for Triss or Zoltan, so I'm going to go ahead and take this shot. Okay, Triss, I'm just going to have you move up to this full cover. And have you take the shot here. 80% looks good. There we go. Man down. Kira, Overwatch. Yen, Overwatch. Zoltan, let's have you get up here on the, this on side of it, kind of give Triss some more cover. Also boost her cover and go ahead and overwatch. Alright, so we don't have any more enemies right now, so let's move to Siri. Let's get Siri on her horse. Get her invisible. This ammo conservation is amazing, dude. I'm so happy I picked it up. Okay, so no enemies to that point. That doesn't mean there's not enemies over here. So let's go ahead and move Yennefer to here. It's a safe little move that I can always push back. Alright, we're good. We are good. So Kira, let's have you dash and catch up right on her hip. And Geralt, let's just have you move to here. That's about that's a good far dash for him. Got him into good cover. Uh, as well as got him a good covering spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and watch the overwatch these guys back here. They're close enough to Siri, they can provide support if we do find some more aliens with her. Uh, which we're gonna dash her up to this full cover now. Hopefully uncover some aliens. Yeah, there we go. We got some more sectoids. Good. Good. Alright, Yennefer, hug this this van. It's gonna have them hug the van as we move up. Now this could be the end, I guess. This could be the last. Now, Geralt, let's have you get up here right on Yennefer's hip. Alright, Zoltan. Buddy, can you land a grenade here for me? Can you be clutch? 
No, he just can't. Okay, hold on. I think there's a cheeky little spot I can move to here. It's going to be right on the back of this truck. I think this is going to be a nice little cheeky movement. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Look at the commander coming in clutch. And oh, there it is. There it is. Grenade dropping on these sectoids in three, two, and one. Kaboom. Goodbye, sectoids. There are still more sectoids, dude. This is crazy. I'm just gonna hang Trish back here. Hang her back a little bit. I think Zoltan and Siri and tag team can get this done. Okay, blow up car. Now, where should I check? I think I'm gonna check the store. I think the store is more likely than the garage. Okay, let's go ahead and move her in there. Let's see if she picks up anything. Good, we got three sectoids. She's now not seen, so we're all good. Yennefer, let's have you move up to this Indiana. side of this alien, I don't know, container. It's like a container. Oh, I didn't move her to the correct spot. Okay, so I'm not going to move her again. I'm just going to overwatch her, which means Geralt and Kira are not going to have over, or not going to have cover, but they will be overwatched. Just in case these guys move on out. So I'm going to dash Triss up to catch up. But I'll hug this right side. Moving. Well, not really, but I don't think I'm going to set anything off. No, we're good. Alright, so let's have you move up Position right here, buddy. Confirmed. See if this will be good. Yep, that's a good Overwatch movement. Confirmed. We've got some good Overwatch shots I'm happy with. Okay, so they still don't know we're there. That's great. Now, I'm going to go ahead and Ghost Grenade. Where's Kira? Oh, she's way back there. I don't know... I can't tell if they're both in the ghost grenade. Can I get one? There we go, they're both in the ghost grenade. Alright, so Yennefer's just gonna chill out here. She's gonna go ahead and ghost grenade Kira and Geralt. I'm gonna get them into striking range for next turn. Okay, so yes, Geralt, you get up there. Kira... You can get onto this full cover here. Okay, I'm just gonna hold Triss and Zoltan for now. Siri, let's have you come up right. Let's have you go behind the counter. I'm gonna have you go right here. Alright, so we've got those three sectoids, and they're pretty much gonna be dead next turn. If they try anything, they're dead. Okay, well. They're revealed, so that's going to set them off. I'm going to take the shot before we actually set them off. There we go. So now they're going to move. They're going to spread out. I wonder where they're going. Okay, they're stupid. They're literally stupid. I could just kill them with one grenade, but I'm going to take the double tap shot with Siri. Alright, Siri, take him out. And then Geralt should be in. Geralt will kill the other one. He's got two shots. If he doesn't kill this dude, I am done. I don't, I, like, I don't even know what to do. I'm just done. Okay. But I'm going to give Yen the shot, because she hasn't gotten kills for a while. I feel like she's earned it. She's done a great job with those ghost grenades, and she missed. She blasted a giant hole in the wall, but she missed. So, Geralt, go ahead and clean this up, buddy. I think that should be missed, Jim. Yeah. Alright, well, that was nice and quick and easy. Uh, I think we got that mission kind of late, but that's alright. 12 kills, no operatives lost, easy peasy. Those ghost grenades, I, I think for missions like that, they're going to work out real well. As well as missions like um, the final mission, if I can save him to that final room with the uh, with the, the ethereal commander or whatever he is, I don't know what he's called. Uh, but for the final room with him, uh, this could be, it could be a nice little thing. Because I always get someone taken, it pisses me off. So Siri is up to 63 kills. Not a single casualty. Thanks, Dr. Ballin. Uh, so Yennefer has been out on the most missions, but she's now lacking behind in kills. I do need to get her some kills. We need to pick that up for her. Uh, so excellent work. The Indian government would like to express its gratitude for your discre er, discretion. Can't even talk. Discretion and efficiency. 57 credits and 40 Illyrium. Not the greatest reward, but we'll, be watching. we'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and scan ahead here. Got the EMP cannons. We can assign the new project. So we got Shiv Repair. 
So nothing too great. Let's go ahead and interrogate these guys. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Okay, so that's the Outsider. I already captured one. I did that first. So, we got armor technology research credit to earn. Let's go ahead and interrogate uh, the Thin Man. Okay, so we got UFO technology research credit earned, and so now we can start researching the Outsider Shard. So let's get that going, and let's go ahead and spin ahead here. There you are. Tactical. Do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta II is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. Established comms with all available ground. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now, how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Transfer complete. All right, so Outsider Shard research is complete. We can go ahead and build the skeleton key and assault the alien base. Alright, so let's go ahead and just start that researching. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. Alright, begin work. In okay, so we got war, that. There's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is... What sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive do they have to follow through with this plan? Okay, so I'm going to try to get to the council report here. Hopefully we can before we assault the alien base. Oh, panic in the U.S. Oh, it was, okay, hold well, Dr. on. Dr. Volland's interrogation technique certainly is... Efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her, but that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. Well, shoot, dude. I wonder if. Oh no, is the U.S. gonna withdraw from the XCOM project? I think they might here in a day. Oh, that's horrible, dude. I didn't even think of that. Well, let's go ahead and throw our satellites up here. We'll get the bonus there, but I have a feeling the U.S. is gonna withdraw by my stupidity of not doing a sweep. 
Incoming transmission. We are they extremely did. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Ooh, I can't believe it. They did, went down in panic somehow. Oh my gosh, I thought they were about to go... They were about to go bye-bye. Uh, so we have all the bonuses now, which is nice. We got 2,000 bucks. Touch, Commander. Well, te technically we got 1757, but uh, what can commander. we buy that we we're need? I don't even think there's down. anything I need. I guess we could get fusion lances and stuff, but I don't really see the point. Like, there's not a huge need. Um... I guess I'll get a Chitin Plating just in case. I'll get an extra one of those. Uh, there really isn't anything else I need. I need to unlock plasma weapons and all that. So I guess it's just good to save money for now. I guess we can take a peek in here. But I need heavy floater corpses for... There's really not anything else I need here. Except for advanced flight. So... Oops, wrong thing. Um, build facilities. Let's go ahead and, I guess, get that excavating. Uh, we will need stuff later, so I guess we can get that going, and then we'll excavate this bottom row here. And I think I that's it. So. I support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. So I think in the next episode, we will go to the, we'll assault the alien base. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode, where we will be, uh, Taking on probably our toughest 